Let us continue our reading from Pope Francis's apostolic letter on the liturgical formation of the people of God. In the chapter entitled The Liturgy, the Place of Encounter with Christ, in Articles 12 and 13, the Pope speaks about baptism and gives a, a very profound meaning of the symbol of the water in creation by linking it to the water of our own baptism. In baptism, we are plunged into Jesus' passion, death, resurrection and ascension. We are plunged into his paschal death. And with this merge, with this unity, we are given the possibility of dying and rising in Christ. How moving the way in which this comes about. The prayer for the blessing of baptismal water reveals to us that God created water precisely with baptism in mind. God created all water with our baptism in mind. This means that when God created water, He was thinking of the baptism of each of us. And this same thought accompanied Him all throughout His acting in the history of salvation every time that with precise intention he used water for his saving work. It is as if after having created water in the first place, he had wanted to perfect it by making it eventually to be the water of baptism. It was thus that he wanted to fill it with the movement of his spirit hovering over the face of water as we read it in Genesis, so that it could contain, hidden within, the power to sanctify. He used water to regenerate humanity through the flood. He controlled it, separating it to open the way of freedom through the Red Sea. He consecrated it in Jordan, plunging into the flesh of the word soaked in the spirit. At the end he blended it with the blood of his son, the gift of the spirit inseparably united with the gift of life and death of the lamb slain for us, and from his pierced side he poured it over us. And it is into this water that we have been immersed so that through its power we can be inserted into the body of Christ and with him rise to immortal life. This is a very profound image and meditation that whenever we encounter water in practical life drinking a glass of water, washing our face and hands, having a shower or even swimming, we should be reminded that God created this very sacred element, this very precious element in view of our baptism. And when we read what the Pope recalled events from salvation history when God used water, 
we should really feel connected with his saving intention that in baptism he used the same water. In our baptism the same Holy Spirit is present. Let us receive today's Holy Communion with this sensitivity and let us look at all what we see in the world, what we use in the, in the, in the world uh, as God's precious thought that whatever we are using, whatever surrounds us, was created and was made possible for, possible for us as a gift in view of our salvation to bring us back to a full commitment to God. And when we see negative things in the world, because it seems as if we were living uh, in the book of the Apocalypse, earthquakes, wars, famines, uh, epidemics. So whenever we see negative things in the world, let us be reminded of the normal state of our world. And that normal state of the world, human flourishing, needs to be cultivated. And the very ground of our compassion and commitment to the Kingdom of God is rooted in our very baptism, in our very God.